Greetings world, it is I, Andrew, the bearded lady from the Hairy Game Lords, and for Zatu Games, I'm going to unbox for you this WizKids Overpowered Arena. Oh yeah, look at that artwork. Let's get inside and see all of this battle royale wonder. Okay, so let's have a look at this. The OP Arena. The OP obviously stands for Overpowered, an epic battle royale of absurd proportions. Yes, and it's by WizKids. A little bit of the, I don't know, I think the backside <laughs> there is a little bit boring. But it shows you some uh, examples of the fun cards that await you within this box. Uh, and the text is kind of like uh, Star Wars-ish. Excellent. Well, this is a... Let's have a little zoom in there. This is a 2-6 to six player game taking 30-60 to 60 minutes for ages 14+. Plus. And let's just say straight up, the artwork on there is stunning. Oh, yes. Let's get inside. Obviously, the, uh, the light is refracting from the glossy rulebook. And this is a pretty light rulebook here. You've got your components, uh, you have your ob overview and objectives, the setup, and then straight into how to play. Uh, what's nice about this rulebook is, yes, you have uh, an overview of the, or the uh, autonomy of the cards, uh, with some nice bold pictures in there but also the text is quite nicely it's bold and nicely spread out so it's really easy to read good times just goes through everything you need to know relatively quickly and then there's some brilliant variants on the back here i mean just some of these names of these variants are brilliant the super savage double dip gr grind match uh, so that's where you can play to 50 victory points rather than 30. The mega explosive Omega Death Mode. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, play until every single dude in the dude deck is dead or otherwise discarded except for one. So like last man standing. The quadruple fudge uh, gulag team clash. These names are brilliant. The extra elastic veteran only throwdown. Ain't got time for that speed bout, where you play to 20 victory points rather than 30. And the George P. Fustercluck Championship Tournament. There is no limit to the number of dude players may have in play, and re-rolls are not allowed. Mayhem. Excellent, there's a beautiful unicorn. Brilliant, well... Here is the scoreboard, and it's a relatively thick board, nicely done. And um, so that's up to 30 on that side, and then up to 50 if you want to play that longer game variant. And then we have a nice kind of cardboard inlay in here. We have our dice, uh, which you will be rolling to, to unleash the, hopefully, the powers on the cards. Then we have a whole array of really nice plastic uh, damage markers, one for each colour, uh, well, one each colour for each player. Um, and they are really nice quality. So you've got yellow, colour of we, blue, blue, <laughs> that's red. You've got a lovely blue there, you've got black, you've got white, and you've got green. Excellente. Also, in here, you have a whole load of um, already punched, and that's because I have already punched them, uh, tokens. Let's just have a look at that. So this is the nerf token, and this is played over someone's special ability. And when that's played over the ability, of they can't use that anymore. What else have we got? We have the Overpower Shield, so if somebody has the Overpower Shield on their card and somebody else goes to play the Nerf Barrier, they can't. 
uh, and it both the shield and the nerf barrier are removed back to the supply and then these colored uh, things in here are the different color the different player score markers as well so these are again nicely a nice thickness not too thick but neither too thin as well excellent then we have some wooden um, cubes here these are used for re-rolls so you can uh, you are able to acquire some re-rolls uh, as well good times but the moment we're all waiting for really is checking out these cards so very nice uh with the finger hole there now the artwork on these are well brilliant let's just uh there we go so we've got the rabid or the rabid war bear good times so this is the basic attack here when rolling the dice they need to uh get exactly that or exceed that to be able to uh deal five damage for instance from the rabid war bear uh, and then there are some different uh, abilities that happen as well. Raging T-Rex. You know, the, this is pretty standard when it comes to uh, uh, a battle royale. Uh, we've got the Irritable Demon. Um, excellent. He's got a disgusting nether, nether regions. The beginning of your turn, all other dudes in play take one damage for real enjoy so what happens is in the game is that you have you can get hold of some dudes these cards are the dudes and then you play down two in front of you in your team and then when those get uh, inflicted with this with the damage whoever kills the dude uh, they get three victory points whoever has the most damage markers on the card that's killed gets two victory points and the second person gets one victory point as well uh, we've got the constipated frost giant here brilliant stuff uh, if you rolled a three or above you could use the explosive bell movement all humans monsters and animals take two damage because that is totally gross down here is the health of each uh, creature uh, we have the super hot fairy. Not really sure, actually, she's super hot, but there we go. Jury's out for that one. The tentacle doomed skull. Uh, the spider tank. We've got the deep woods hillbilly. <laughs> Brilliant. Ah, he's got the ability of banjo music. Whenever any dude is killed, gain one token from the supply. Insert deliverance joke here. <laughs> Something about a pig squealing. Uh, boring. Uh, mentally challenged goat. Fantastic. Uh, headbutts do three damage to any dude and three damage to mentally challenged goat. Your choice. A butt to the head or a head to the butt. Brilliant. Uh, good times. So uh, we've got... As you can see, there are shed loads of amazing cards going on. Freaking lasers! Brilliant stuff. Um, oh, hello. Back to front card. A shaman. A righteous paladin. Oh, he can pray. He's got heavily retribution. The vengeful desperado. The priest. Um, the tripod walker. Let's see, brain sucker. Basically, there's as you can see. I'm not reading through all of these, but there are some. The unhappy Cthulhu, brilliant. Oh man, there we go. Let's just say that. Drive insane. The Red Queen. The unbalanced sorcerer. The fancy merman. Wonderful, a tail slap or a bubble rush. Here we go, the Lactose Intolerant Unicorn. One of their abilities is the Flatulent, Ra Flatulent Rainbow Blast. All other players' dudes take one damage. Also, each player, each other player must discard one token from their pool. 
if able. And then you've got the mesmerizing prompts. All any kill any monster or steal any animal, including any tokens and damage, and put it to play yourself. Very nice. So at this point here. You can only ever play two cards down in front of you, but if you had the uh, Lactose Intolerant Unicorn and you did the Mesmerizing Prance, then you could steal a card from another player and place it in front of you, thus giving you three cards. Good times. We've got the Animated Chicken Bone, the Undead. So there are different kind of categories of... Uh, uh, Creatures here, there's the undead, there's mythical, there's human, and there's monster. Uh, quite a lot of the undead rocking out there. Um, well, I feel like we've just hit on all of the undead. Giant snake. Um, oh, we've got animals as well. Humans. Right. Okay. Let's just have a look at a few of my favourites here. We've got a dad. His power here is the turn on the light. Kill a monster or mythical dude in play. And you've got to say it. Daddy's here, baby. There's nothing to be afraid of. Brilliant. And then this is a brilliant power here. The remove shirt. Do two damage to all players, dudes. No one wants to see this. Trust me. Brilliant. This could be me in a card if it had a better beard. Brilliant. We've got the Unstable Surgeon. Fantastic. With the Malpractice Insurance. Brilliant stuff. You've got the Weird Uncle. Pull my finger. Do two damage to all non-mech dudes. We do not... We are not above toilet humour, just in case you haven't put that together yet. And then the Inappropriate Comments. When any other player rolls one, do a... De do one damage to all d players, dudes. Brilliant. You've got the Karate Sausage. Fantastic. You have the Undead Chicken Cow with Unholy Clucking. At the start of your turn, all players, other players, dudes, take one damage. OMG! What is that annoying sound? Then you've got the Cock A Doodle Moo. Brilliant stuff. All great stuff going on there. So, these are just... Basically, there are 84 cards you get in this game. Really nice size as well, the kind of tarot, tarot card size. Uh, awesome artwork on there. Uh, funny abilities. That is all that you will have within this game. And I cannot wait to play this game with the Hairy Game Lords and get this reviewed for you. Just looks a fantastic game. That is OP Arena overpowered arena uh, from WizKids. Find it on Zatu for that awesome Zatu price and get involved. You know you want to. Laters.